Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. We're in the Reverb G2 and I'm just going to have a quick discussion about what headset I recommend in 2022 given the fact that there's lots of new headsets coming out and this is for people who mainly enjoy sort of general aviation flight sims particularly Microsoft Flight Simulator. Now I'm flying at the moment in the Simwork Studios Kodiak or Flotiak <laughs> over Norway and oh my god just look at the scene here it is absolutely stunning fs academy really does take your flight sim knowledge to the next level in fact you'll be greeted by a real wheel pilot and instructor which will guide you through a series of different training exercises from a GA pilot all the way up to being a full airline captain. In these tutorials, you'll get real bespoke sort of instructions and it will really feel like the pilot is right there beside you. You'll be surprised how much knowledge you'll pick up, even if you're a seasoned veteran like me, or if you're just starting out, there is definitely a training package for you. I'll have links in the description below of where you can find FS Academy and I highly recommend that you give it a go and it's why they are sponsoring this video. So what is the best headset for flight simming in 2022 and 2023? Particularly the early part of the year anyway. Well, you know, the thing is folks, it's like anything. If your wallet is deep and you're a hardcore enthusiast, then there is of course the up and coming Pimax Crystal which I'll have on the channel very soon and the Via Aero, they are the top end headsets. But let's be realistic here, for most people, it's still got to be the Reverb G2 and this is why. At the moment we've got the Pico Neo 4 that's just been released with pancake lenses which absolutely is fantastic, although there's a big issue there. It does not have a display port connection which means you're gonna have to use it over Airlink. That's an issue for your graphics card because it has to do far more encoding which means it's not going to run as well and it's not going to look oops a bit of a call out there and it's also not going to run as fast as the g2 or look as good even with the fresnel based lenses that the g2 has it still looks way better due to that display port connection i still think the colors in the g2 are absolutely phenomenal and beat any other headset bar the um vario aero also, Microsoft Flight Simulator has fantastic support for this headset. It has motion reprojection, the OpenXR toolkit, and you know the OpenXR runtime, which just rocks so well in this sim. When it's all said and done, folks, the Reva G2 still makes the most sense, especially as it also has inside-out tracking, which is easier to set up, and it's a lot cheaper. It also has class leading audio which is yet to be beaten, I'm not sure if it ever will to be honest. And you can really hear the sound of that beautiful Kodiak. I'm using motion reprojection at the moment and it's locked at 30 frames per second and it's running fantastic. So I'm sorry folks, it's probably not really much of a surprise to most of you that I've picked the Reva G2 still, but it makes the most sense for most people that don't want to spend a crazy amount of money, it still has incredible visuals. I would recommend the version 2 of the Reva D2 since it has a better face gasket and the display just seems better with a few less lines in our LCD panel. The tracking is also a bit better as well. So really that's going to be it for this video folks. I think the Reva D2 still absolutely rocks. I'm not sure it's ever going to be beaten in the near future quite honestly, particularly for our use case scenario which is PC based flight simming. Let me know in the comments what are your thoughts on this and uh, as always thank you so much for your support on the channel it means so much and I'll see you again very soon. Bye bye for now.